Okay, wow. they are working through that there. We saw mm. the incredible power of Mother Nature and yes. how devastating that can be. A little closer to home, things do look very different though. And dry, and you've got some new information about the drought, right? Yeah, because last or last Friday night at this right. time, we were tracking what was left of Helene in terms of heavy rain locally and those damaging winds. The rain did help our drought conditions briefly. Unfortunately, as we look ahead, we expect more dry weather. We have near zero rain chances over the next five to seven days. How about the next six to 10 days? It's also looking dry for central Indiana and actually a good part of the country. In addition to the dry, we're also expected to be above average for about the western two thirds of the country. Uh, all in all, we've got a couple of warm days and we've got a couple of cool days headed our way. Today was a warm one, 82 degrees in Indianapolis. That is 11 above the average of 71. Not quite record warmth, record of 90 set back in 1951. Our low this morning, 53. Should be a really nice sunset for us this evening as skies are clearing after a few clouds earlier this afternoon. 82 degrees is also the current temperature. We have a north wind at 7. We will be in the mid 50s, middle and upper 50s. So if you're coming downtown for the more than pink walk, it is tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. for uh, registration as we start to get things underway. We'll be in the mid 50s and then climb into the 60s. So a nice mild finish to the more than pink walk tomorrow. 71 midday on Saturday and again we will be in the low 80s. In fact, expecting low to mid 80s locally both Saturday and Sunday. Big day for college football on Saturday. It's a 2 p.m. kickoff in Muncie with temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Uh, IU in Evanston. We also have uh, Purdue up at Madison. Temperatures will be in the middle and upper 60s for kickoff a little farther north. For us, it's the warmth. The big story as we head into the weekend. Sunday afternoon, expecting low to mid 80s again. There will be another cold front moving through the area on Sunday. The rain chance for now stays north, and then we get showers and storms developing east of us. But for us locally, we are not expecting any rain on Sunday. Behind this cold front, however, there will be a drop in temperature. If you're headed down to Jackson, to cheer on our Colts. We will be dodging some rain in northeast Florida on Sunday for that 1 p.m. kickoff. 84 for us tomorrow, 82 on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine this weekend. That cold front that isn't expected to bring us any rain on Sunday will drop those temperatures early next week. In fact, a good part of next week, we're going to be at or slightly below average with temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. And this is another sunny stretch all the way through Friday next week. Mm.